What's up everyone? This is Levi with Young Comics. And uh, today, funny thing, I just found a quarter on the ground. <laughs> and uh, also there's gonna be a, a crazy good sale. All of the books that I'm gonna be picking up is 25 cents each. Uh, this is pretty exciting. Uh, I took half the day off of work just to come here because they opened up early and this is a Friday. And uh, it's Hot Comics and Collectibles in Jordan, Minnesota. I can't wait to show you guys what's up. Uh, I'm I think I'm pretty much the first few of the guys that got there, so yeah. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Leave Our Young Comics and let's get to the books. First off, I want to say uh, I had a great time at this show and I know it's been a while since I, I've posted some things and uh, I've been busy with life. But anyways, uh, first off is King Spawn number one. You know, I hope you guys enjoy what I got to show you guys. And uh, let me know what you guys have picked up lately too. And uh, all these books that I picked up was 25 cents, a quarter each. And the sale was really good. Um, obviously, there are times where I always regret uh, not picking up books for really this cheap and... Yeah, I'm not a flipper or anything, but for for my own personal collection, it's totally worth it. Captain Paragon and the Sentinels, number one. This is really cool. I did not expect to find this kind of book in there. And these Bronze Age Action Comics. Issue number, what is this, 435. I've seen a lot of people have these before. It's awesome to have my first copy of that. This one is really cool, too. Uh, 445. I think this is like a... Re uh, a uh, homage of, I think, Flash with uh, meeting the Golden Flash, I think. Well, the introduction of the parallel worlds, uh, dimensions and stuff. But yeah. yeah. This one was really cool. I Zombie number one, I think. Yep, issue number one. This is the second appearance of I Zombie. It's pretty cool. And I found this variant cover of Teen Titans number 13. Variant cover. Uh, Monsters of the Month variant cover. It's pretty cool. It's like a Halloween. This is, uh, the Shield of the Mission begins. This is pretty cool. Superboy number 26. I think this is volume 2 or 3. But it's still pretty cool. I like how he's just riding a bike and it's getting it's deflecting off of these bullets. Minding his own business. And Batman Urban Legends number five. This is really cool. Awesome variant cover. And the Flashpoint number one, the multi, uh, Dark Multiverse. I just uh, I just got done reading this and it's pretty cool. Uh, Reverse Flash is pretty much a god himself. Uh, it's crazy, but uh, you gotta love villains too sometimes. Captain Marvel number twenty two. And I got number 30 and number 31. I think I should have picked up all of the remaining issues that were in the box when I was going through these books. And the last Ronin, number seven, I think. Oh, issue number five, sorry. This is a, a cameo appearance of a character in here, which I did not know. I just wanted this book because I thought it was cool. <laughs> Mystery Man, number one. This is an indie comic creators illustrators bob burden's uh, original i thought it was really cool i like these type of uh these titles and uh especially the fire uh fire carrot guy batman gotham knights what was this gilded city number one it's still in the poly bag pretty cool decent condition 
Um, Ghost Racers number one. Oh, sorry. And Soldiers of Victory number zero. I don't know too much about this book, but I always love DC books. And this one, Prometheus, the first appearance ever of this character, Prometheus. Pretty cool. And I have this variant cover of Husk number one. It says right here, mature content only. So Dolph should only read this. I don't know what it's about, but I know it's rated R. <laughs> and my last book that I picked up and that I wanted to show you guys was a pretty good book, pretty big book. Um, a book I, I would never ever find again, probably out there. Right here with the DC logo on the uh, the Avengers of Superman, four ninety nine. This is a really, really rare book, and you will never ever find it out there in the wild. And I just happened to run across this, and I pick. I always pick up these kind of variant covers with the DCU logo, and they go for a pretty good premium. And this book is like a hundred dollars, and this is really nice to have in my PC. And uh, I'm super happy. You know, I was, <laughs> I was jumping for joy when I found this book in the uh, in the long boxes, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video. And uh, you know, people were passing by them or get. Uh, Here's what I got to say, like, even though I was like one of the first guys uh, up in line, there's like over 30 boxes and I'm only at one box at a time and other people have already gone through the boxes and they don't know about these kind of books, you know, and they always pass them. So you win some, you lose some. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed what I had to show you guys and uh, stay safe out there. Stay warm. It's getting cold out here. Uh, so we're getting close to uh, winter soon and Halloween is coming up, and also I also want to say, uh, it was uh, September 23, we are having a another comic book show uh, hosted by the awesome Facebook group, the admin, uh, administration group guys of Minnesota, and if you are in the Minnesota area or close by, nearby, do show up, come through, there's so many people, so many awesome, great creators, vendors, sellers, and so it's such a wonderful event. I, I always love every single time I go there. I always, always spend a ton of money on great books. <laughs> Never go back home empty handed. I promise you guys always come through if you got the time to do so. I promise you, you will never regret it. This is this is a like maybe once or twice in a in a in a, in a year. Annually, we uh, the guys host it. And I'm not a part of it, but uh, I always love promoting them. They're so cool. They I love them and it. You know, just shout out to every single one of them. Uh, yeah, but um, Minnesota Valley Creek Mall, I believe it's 9 to 3. And uh, if you are in the area, please come by. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.